Good morning, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku. Happy November. A November to remember as La Palma continues to erupt. Quick La Palma update this morning. The ash and soot and cinder continue to rise from the Cumbre Vieja volcano, as can be seen here. And this is following the second five magnitude earthquake in the last two days. And the last one coming, well, 21 hours ago. What does it mean? Well, let's take a quick look at today's update from Volcano Discovery. Intense ash emission continue, bad air quality in the Ariadne Valley. Not much has changed with the ongoing eruption. The main vent at the crater emits near continuous jets of ash rich fountains, while modest amounts of lava flow from lower vents into a channeled surface flow on the western flank of it. Volcanic tremor as an indicator of magma flow rate has decreased a bit, but remains high, and we'll show you those details in a moment. No significant changes in earthquake activity or ground deformations can be reported either. All pointing, well, to that the eruption is more or less in a stable phase and shows no signs of a clear trend. Meteorological conditions remain adverse for the western part of the island, in particular the Ariadne Valley, where thick fog or volcanic fog prevails, an unhealthy mixture of gases and fine ash particles trapped in the air. In Los Llanos de Ariadne, concentration values are up 499 grams of fine dust ash particles per cubic meter. And this is 10 times the standard threshold of 50 micrograms per cubic meter considered as healthy to breathe. So not very healthy to breathe in that valley. In fact, 10 times worse than the maximum allowed levels. So our prayers go out to all the people on La Palma as we take a look at the latest quakes near the volcano in the past 24 hours. Uh, there has been a slight uptick in quakes where there were now at 100 and 66 quakes in the last 24 hours, including that five magnitude. And there is definitely has been a change in the activity. We saw this change about seven days ago here, where some of the activity was just sequestered here from about 12 to 10 kilometers at the surface as far as seismicity. And that continued a bit here, but it became more generalized like it had been through the eruption with a range of 16 kilometers up to nine kilometers. But now it's back to just concentrating here on the surface only. And we're gonna show you some great 3D visualizations of all the earthquakes underneath the island towards the end of this podcast. Now, what does it mean that they're all gathering at the surface here? Well, since this began a few days ago, what we've seen is increased ash and cinders falling all across the island. Here we can see the histogram of quakes. And even though quakes are up today, there's still a downward trend overall. And that's how we have to look at statistics. Either there's a slight uptick in the last two days or a drop down here in the last nine days. And you usually stick with the larger subset as the trend. So the trend is still a decrease in seismicity, even though we've had larger quakes, two of them, two of the largest quakes we have an overall trend down. But getting back to the three-dimensional modeling here, and what does it mean that the quakes are all gathering here between 12 and nine kilometers at the surface? Well, visually, we can see that it creates lots of cinders and ash, different than other phases of the eruption. So there actually is a change in trend in this eruption. It's become much more sooty and ashy since the change in seismicity has focused itself on the surface alone. And we're just looking at observational evidence that that's true. And I'm sure you can agree with us. Sorry about that. Here's the page we're looking at, we're looking for. And I want to share it to you all. This is coming directly um, from the scientists that are researching the island. And it is translated now and this is where all the data sets come from the seismicity the deformation the latest news earthquakes in the canary islands you can get a 2d viewer a 3d viewer which we're going to look at photo gallery videos of the eruption educational material and a special 1 to 50,000 map 
but you're also going to need a Google Translator because I've translated this. Unless you speak Spanish, you're probably not going to know what the page says. So I'll link it below. It's ign.es backslash web backslash VLC series La Palma, and you will see that. And that's where you can get all the data sets that we're about to cover. The first one is seismicidad. This is the seismic right here, seismicity. And here is the page that you will link to. It's going to give you the overall seismic tremor since the beginning of the eruption here at the green line. And it's going to give you uh, a blown up version. So here is the tremor since the eruption began. Here are some of the big upticks we saw. And you can see an overall downward trend here in the last five or six days, or here in seismicity. It's not much, but it's visible. And if we come look at today, not much is happening today. Just an ebb and flow, pretty straight line stuff. Although the current activity is quite low. This is a live updated map. Now we also want to look at the deformation. So if you come over to this page, click on deformation this is what you're going to see right here and this gives you the LP1, LP2, LP3, LP4, LP5, LP6, Mazo and El Pal these are all controls of the deformation and you can click on each one individually or we'll just blow this up and look at them and the beginning of the eruption is the green line you can see some slight uplift here pretty stable and a general drop down here so everything's pretty stable there again an, a dropping down here could be associated with the magma coming out and another dropping down here in recent days deflation so there's deflation happening there a little bit of inflation in the last two days but deflation over the last 10 overall here a drop down and deflation here this was the anomalous event and the huge amount of inflation that scared everybody, but that has since dropped off and has been level. So we've seen mostly things staying the same with deflation happening. Deflation happening today here, a little bit of downward movement there, a little bit of up in four days here. Overall deflation here, pretty straight there. Deflation in the last four or five days here. A little uptick in inflation pretty standard little inflation there and here we see continuous deflation for the entire event continuous deflation for the entire event continuous deflation of the entire event with acceleration in the last seven to ten days and on this final chart we have deflation a little uplift and a little uplift in the last two days so generally there's no trend whatsoever pretty straightforward definitely not a lot of inflation a little bit more subtle deflation than inflation and you can go check it all yourself live at this chart yourself now we're going to leave you with the last important tidbit here it's the 3d modeling of the island and the earthquakes and wait till you see this all right and it's loaded finally here's the 3d imaging of the island of la palma here is the main caldera and a lot of times, bushcraft bear, bushcraft bear will be sitting here up on the point of that, looking directly into that. And he's looking over here at the eruption. Sometimes he's down here. But the pink is the lava flows. And we have some surface quakes visible here. But you can clearly see there are two areas as we go down at depth. The largest quakes are happening down here at about 30 to 38 kilometers. And that's this cluster. And the shallower quakes that are happening between 15 and 9 kilometers is this cluster here, all beneath the tiny fissure here on the surface, which is erupting the magma. So there could be a deep magma chamber feeding a shallow magma chamber. There could be two magma chambers. Um, it's anyone's guess, but this is simply the three-dimensional plot of that seismicity that you can come look at, and it's pretty fantastic. So it gives us a little idea. Now, what are we seeing as far as the data? Well, we're seeing that this upper area only from here and up is where most of the activity is happening now. And that means that this magma could be feeding out completely and be almost at an end. And some of the larger uh, events that are happening now could be the collapse of these voids down low. 
These five magnitudes could be the collapse of the deeper chamber, which is now empty, creating that five magnitude stuff. So we're going to keep a close eye on it. All this is speculation coming from a scientist background. Uh, it all makes completely logical sense that this, these five magnitudes at depth could be the fact that this is empty now. And the reason we're only seeing earthquakes um, up in the upper region is because almost all the magma has spilled out now. Back live at the volcano. And that is your daily update at La Palma. Cumbre Vieja continues to be extremely ashy and sooty. The people in Los Llanos or Los Llanos are being asked to stay inside today or wear uh, extreme protective measures, including goggles or Googles, however you say it, including N95 or better face masks. This is volcanic haze that is settling onto the island now, which is not good. It contains volcanic glass and other things that are very bad for the lungs. So if you're on La Palma, or you know anyone's there, well, tell them to be safe. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Well, we try to bring you the most up-to-date information on the interwebs before anyone else. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. Stay tuned for more updates.